So as expected, today Apple has officially released a third developer beta for iOS 26.2. There it is, iOS 26.2 developer beta 3 is now officially available to registered developers. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this populate for you within the next 24 hours or so. Now, aside from iOS 26.2 developer beta 3, Apple also released iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, homeOS, and tvOS developer beta 3 all available to download as of today. No Vision OS Beta 3 as of the filming of this video. I'll keep you guys posted in the description of this video. Apple decides to release the Vision OS Beta as well. Now, I want to go ahead and jump into settings here. I want to go under general, under the about section, and take a look at the build number. Now, oftentimes when we see the letter B, as you see right there, towards the end of the build number, it means we could see the release shortly. So we'll talk about when we can expect the official final release for iOS 26.2 to the general public, which should happen in less than a month from now. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is this new option that Apple has added to iOS 26.2, which essentially allows you to create specific contacts lists for AirDrop devices. So let's go into settings here under the AirDrop section under general AirDrop. We have manage known AirDrop contacts. So this allows you to essentially send a code to another iOS device and create sort of an AirDrop contact momentarily for 30 days, right? And you'll be able to transfer and share files with another iOS device for 30 days. Now, this is very useful if you're going on, you know, work trip or something like that and you need to to share files for you know an extended period of time you can go ahead and add someone and then you don't have to necessarily add them to your contacts so essentially a new manage known contacts section has now been added to the airdrop section within iOS which is a welcome change it's a nice new change that Apple has added here again this essentially allows you to share files between iOS devices without having to add a person to your contacts list and again you can manage those directly in settings there and you'll be able to share those files for 30 days you'll be able to see the person for 30 days on your airdrop radar right now the next thing I've noticed with this latest beta that's also been added here is a new splash screen for the reminders application now as you may or may not know Apple has added some new features to the reminders application with iOS 26.2 and this is the splash screen that sort of breaks everything down so you can go ahead and set it as urgent and get alerts with your reminders and you see here that's what Apple is describing here you can also snooze the reminder and stay reminded by dismissing or snoozing a reminder directly from the lock screen you'll be able to re-enable that reminder or reschedule that reminder at a later time with a live activity on the lock screen. Now, once you jump into the application, you get the prompt here, sort of a card, letting you know to add an alarm there for your reminders. So a new splash screen and a new card there inside of the reminders application, showing you that new capability within reminders. Now, I've also noticed that this latest beta also improves animations once again. Now, as you may or may not know, with the previous beta, we did get those really cool liquid glass animations for the UI. You see right there that animation's a lot smoother this time around, and it feels a lot nicer to interact with these uh, you know, elements within the OS that give you that liquid glass effect when you're interacting with those submenus and things like that. Now, aside from this, I haven't really noticed any additional changes. I'll obviously keep you guys posted if I know anything else or see anything else new. I'll follow up with another video, but so far these are going to be some of the changes happening here with the third beta for iOS 26.2. Now in terms of official release date, I'm thinking we'll see one more beta, then the RC, which is the release candidate, and then an official release sometimes early to mid-December. So I'm thinking next week we get another beta, then we get the RC the first week of December, then an official release, perhaps December the 8th, which is typically on a Monday. But again, I'll keep you guys posted. This is not confirmed information. This is me just guessing based on previous you know, scheduled releases. But there you guys have it. The third beta officially out to registered developers, public beta testers. You'll see this soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.